Hi guys, uh, my name is Dylan Makuraminga and uh, um, I'm a student at GZHU, uh, currently doing uh, politics and public management. Uh, today we're covering uh, a, a presentation uh, from the module uh, Political Theory, uh, which uh, we are led by Dr. Sheru. Uh, the question of our presentation is uh, the ideas of the public government in context with the Minangagwa's government. So uh, this presentation is going to feature three, three people or three three students of GZHU uh, and these, uh, their names include uh, Ronald Winyama, Terry Rai Mazimure, and all myself, uh, Dylan Mabrani. So uh, our question uh, needs us to link uh, the characteristics of a republic government uh, to the government of Nangagwa. So to depict the ideas of republic government to the, uh, in the context of Nangagwa's government, we should be able to link uh, what happens in a republic government uh, to, to, to the government of Nangagwa. Uh, Chicken was the introduction to a republic government. What is a republic government? Uh, we have different scholars who have uh, different views on what is a republic government. Uh, here we have uh, our very own uh, scholar T. Goggins and L. Quick. Their definition on, uh, on a republic government, they state that it is a state in which the supreme power rests in the body of the citizens. Uh, when they say this, they are trying to say that uh, the power to choose is amongst the citizens. The power to select their own leaders is in the power of the, of the, of the citizens. Thus, uh, we can say that uh, uh, in this uh, Republican uh, government, we see that uh, citizens participate in the voting indirectly or directly. When it say directly, we mean that them personally, they go, they, they, the use of uh, the electoral system, a uh, way they, they cast their, their, their votes to select their own uh, rep representatives. Uh, thus, here we have, uh, we also have indirect, the vote uh, indirectly. Uh, here we are saying that uh, the chosen representatives now vote for the people. So we can say that's indirect. Uh, uh, voting uh, for, the, for their own leaders. Uh, here we are now talking about the background of a republic government. Uh, the background of a republic government goes back uh, to the 17th century, uh, whereby we see that uh, the government, uh, the term uh, republic, uh, was designated or designed uh, for any state except tyrannical uh, regimes. Uh, it is derived from a Latin word, uh, which is uh, a, or expression uh, known as res publica. This is meaning that the public thing. Uh, the category of the republic would encompass not only democratic states, but uh, also oligarchies, uh, aristocratics, and the democratic states, but also monarch, monarchs. Also, in, in six books of the Commonwealth in 1536, uh, is is a conical study of sovereignty. Uh, this is uh, a book by a French political analyst or scientist or philosopher uh, known as Jean Baudin. Uh, thus uh, offered a far-reaching definition of the Republic. This is known as the, the rightly ordered government of a number of sovereign of families and these things are their, are, are their common concern by sovereign power. Tyrannies are excluded from this definition because the, their objectives are not common good but uh, private benefit of an individual. Uh, uh, here we see George, George Jean uh, Baudin, a French uh, polit political philosopher, uh, giving us uh, his own view uh, towards the, uh, what uh, the Republic government, saying that. Uh, in his definition, according to his definition, as I have read, uh, Jean uh, Baudin uh, excludes uh, tyrannical regimes uh, in, a, in, a, in a Republican state. Uh, moving on, uh, the characteristics uh, of a Republican government. Uh, firstly, a Republican government uh, is a government uh, which, in which power is held by the people. Uh, here we are talking about uh, the power uh, to vote or to choose uh, whom, whom, they, whom can lead them. Uh, and, and we can also talk about another characteristic whereby uh, in a republic government there is freedom to prosperity. Uh, this is the freedom to success. This is the ability uh, for one to, 
to have the right uh, or a freedom to to choose a religion, uh, to choose uh, whatever to say, also to express his or her feelings uh, despite uh, race or gender. Uh, this uh, we also move on to uh, the common welfare. Uh, the Republican government is also known uh, uh, for a common welfare. When talking about common welfare, here we are talking about uh, an equality or that programs that uh, cater for everyone, uh, despite uh, the, the disability, despite race, despite gender, uh, everyone uh, in, a, in a state. So here we also know, let's say, take a, for example, uh, here in Zimbabwe, uh, we all know that as uh, the president uh, is done as sort of many programs, uh, which mainly are uh, cater for everyone uh, in uh, Zimbabwe. Mainly is, uh, the, the, the road network, uh, which has been uh, uh, developed uh, earlier. So we also talk about uh, moving on. We also talk about uh, the power power distribution uh, to the representatives based on the majority rule. Uh, this is the way by our uh, power is di distributed uh, according to uh, the number or the, the popularity or the, the, the majority that one is gotten uh, in, in, uh, in the polls, for instance. Uh, we can talk about uh, some of uh, the current ruling party. Uh, it's only a uh, large majority. That's it is power uh, in the parliament. That's it is power over the country. And is the one that is ruling our state. As you can see, Zimbabwe is also a republic government. Uh, one can also state that uh, there is also in a republic government there is no just justice. Uh, this is whereby uh, the, the rule of law is very active. The use of a constitution, uh, and despite uh, uh, the, the ability of power, like uh, let's say a minister or a, a president, uh, a business office, is all is ruled uh, by the constitution. If it goes against the constitution, is brought by, uh, into book according to the to the uh, state or idea of a public government. I think. So uh, our question uh, needs us to link uh, the characteristics of a, of a republic government uh, to the government of Nangagwa. So to depict the ideas of republic government to the, uh, in the context of Nangagwa's government, we should be able to link uh, what happens in a republic government uh, to, to, to the government of Nangagwa. So uh, in linking uh, the characteristics of a republic government uh, to the government of Nangagwa, we have uh, highlighted the, 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 the point of uh, the electoral system of Zimbabwe. Uh, according to the characteristics of the public government, leaders are chosen by the people directly, that is by voting. So, this means that the people give power to the leaders. Uh, in Zimbabwe, elections are, are held after every five years. Uh, those uh, who, who, who win are, are, are able to, 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 to represent the citizens. In Zimbabwe, we see that uh, according to the characteristics of the public government, people should elect their own leaders, which uh, is happening in, in the Mnangagwa's government. So, uh, by, 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 by this uh, conclusion, we can say uh, the government of Mnangagwa uh, the, the, is the republic, since elections are also held and uh, uh, the representatives are chosen by, uh, by, by, by the people. They, they, are, they are the ones who elect uh, the, 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 the representatives. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the, 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 the people are able to elect uh, their member of parliaments, their senators, and the president himself is elected through, through elections. People are going to cast their ballot uh, into the ballot boxes so that they can choose uh, their own leaders. So, given the conclusion uh, or analysis from the above, we can say uh, uh, the government of Tunangagwa is a republic government. Right. Uh, second, the second point is uh, common welfare. Uh, Common welfare is another characteristic of a republic government. In a republic government, there is common welfare. Common welfare is whereby the government uh, does not choose to help uh, a, a selected a group of people. It, 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 is, it is there to help all the people uh, in a country. For example, uh, the, the government of Nagawa is helping every, every citizen that is found uh, in the country, despite of gender, despite of uh, one's political party, despite of one's race. We find that uh, the representatives that are chosen by the people are, are able uh, and are also responsible for, for representing all the people in the country, not a few.
The Republic of Zimbabwe is trying to help all its citizens by providing needs and resources equally despite of one political party. In Zimbabwe, the President Mnangawa introduced uh, the, the, the presidential ball drilling scheme whereby he, he, he managed to, 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 to provide ball, ball water for most uh, cities, especially in Harare, in areas such as Kwanza, Nakambu, Zuma and so forth. He was able to provide uh, also ball and tap water in Masingo, in different areas where he, 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 he catered for every, every person or for every citizen in, 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 in the country. Uh, we can also uh, note that uh, the, the president also introduced the Fumbuza agriculture, whereby he was trying to, 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 to improve the agriculture sector by giving people uh, inputs and the knowledge on how to farm. The Fumbuza agriculture was effective and it helped uh, to, to, to improve the yield. So it shows that the government is there to represent all the people despite uh, of, uh, of, of one's political party or one's gender or one's race. We also uh, find that uh, the, the president also introduced the command agriculture whereby uh, people uh, were provided with inputs, uh, were provided with loans that, that would enable them to, 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 to do farming in a prosperous way. So uh, having a situation whereby there is common welfare in a country, we can say uh, a country is, uh, is, good, uh, is a republic, is a republic uh, government. Since uh, uh, on the characteristics of a republic government, we see that uh, there the, the is common wealth in the country, there is no uh, segregation according to one's political party or one's race. Right. Uh, we'll move on uh, with the uh, leading uh, the characteristics of a republic government uh, to, 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 to the government of Zimbabwe, uh, which is Anna Mnangabu. Uh, there is also distribution of power uh, to the representatives based on majority uh, rule. Uh, on this case, we are saying the people who are chosen uh, by the people, uh, by, by the representatives who are chosen by the people uh, they are, are the ones who represent uh, uh, the, 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 the citizens uh, in, the, in, the, in the parliament. For example, in the case of, uh, uh, let's say one to choose uh, the member of parliament, people are going to vote, and then after voting, the one who gets uh, the majority uh, vote is going to represent people. Given that a leader is needed by the majority, uh, we find that she can also, she or he can uh, be a representative, a representative for the citizens who voted for them. So we are saying in Zimbabwe, uh, people, uh, people are, the, the leaders are not appointed, but they are chosen by the people. Uh, the people's affiliation is by the leader who is wanted the most. So the moment uh, we have uh, the leader who is wanted by the people, it means there is going to be a smooth uh, understanding between the, uh, the, the, the people and, and the leader since uh, they, they will be able to communicate to him or her. Uh, it is different from a case where we find uh, a leader being appointed without uh, being voted for. Uh, uh, people will be not able to cooperate with that leader since uh, uh, in some instances we find that they, 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 they may not like uh, the, the leader. So in Zimbabwe, given a situation whereby uh, in, in Mnangagwa's government, uh, uh, distribution of power uh, to the representatives is based on majority, we can, we can, one, one is supposed to conclude that uh, uh, the government, in the government of Mnangagwa, uh, the, 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 the idea of the republic. Right? Uh, another point to note uh, in Zimbabwe, uh, as we are linking uh, the characteristics of uh, a republic government to Zimbabwe uh, or to Mnangagwa's government, uh, which is currently here, uh, we find that uh, there is freedom of, uh, and prosperity. Freedom is, is prosperity is whereby people are able to, to do whatever they want freely leading to success. Uh, that is what, uh, what is meant by freedom and prosperity. So in Zimbabwe, people are a, good, a, a, a lot of freedom. You know, people have got freedom to express what they think uh, should be done even to their representative. They can, represent, they, can, they, can, they can express, they can complain to their representative on what, uh, what, what, can, what can be done to improve the, the life or to improve the living conditions. You know, uh, for, for example, uh, we have got the people from Mashingo who are complaining uh, about uh, shortages of uh, water in, in, in the system. And they complain to the, the, to the, to the, to the their member, their representative. And the, also complain to their uh, kind of um, elected members. So we find that people have got freedom to, to express what they think should be done and giving their recommendations. People in Zimbabwe also have got the, the, the freedom of speech. They can, 
People can say uh, whatever they want, despite uh, who are you, despite the political party they, uh, which you belong. You know, people are able to, to, to say uh, those things. People have got also freedom uh, to, to, to free education. Uh, we've got a lot of freedom in Zimbabwe where we find the people, uh, some people, uh, you know, uh, the opposition or the, 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 the other parties are, are also able to, to form their political parties. You know, they are able to criticize what is uh, being done by the government. This shows that in Zimbabwe there is freedom. So, uh, given a, a situation whereby people are have got freedom in their country, we find that uh, uh, there's, there's prosperity. No one lives under fear. No one will be living under fear since everyone will have the freedom. And, uh, you know, that shows that uh, in Zimbabwe there is a lot of prosperity due to freedom. So, given a situation whereby we've got freedom and prosperity in the country, we can say uh, a country is what uh, a, a, a country is a republic government. The, 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 the government of Nagaba is, what, is a, a republic government since uh, there's, uh, there's freedom. Uh, on the other hand, we find that uh, one may criticize uh, the, 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 the republic nature of a Zimbabwe, a Zimbabwean government. Since sometimes uh, there are some weaknesses, uh, there are some shortfalls uh, that are there uh, in, in the government of Zimbabwe, which may, is, which may say uh, the Nurangapo's government is, is not a public government. So, however, it would be my epic to say Nurangapo's government is totally a public government, but it has also uh, some shortfalls uh, that are there within the country. So, the shortfalls, uh, sometimes we find that uh, though elections are held in Zimbabwe, Yes, elections are held showing that the, the country is in public. But, however, these elections, are, they, they, are, they are said with a lot of violence. They, they, are, they are said to, not to be fair. You know, for example, uh, the Zimbabwe elections are, sometimes are, are, are not peaceful. This is evidenced by clashes on rallies uh, during the pre-election period. And uh, sometimes, in some instances, after the, the, the post, uh, during the post-election period, there are some there, there, there are some attacks always with unknown people, and the opposition will be claiming uh, that, that those people are the, uh, the Zambia members. You know, uh, uh, those are sort of things that happen. So, for example, we can give an example of, uh, during the 2018 harmonized elections. Uh, people uh, after the, the elections, soon after the elections. Uh, uh, people were trying to demonstrate uh, for the glare in, in the in the publishment of results. You know, people were attacked during that election period. During that election year, people were attacked in some way, some 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 dead, some were left dead, some were, were shot uh, by the gunfire. You know, this shows that uh, there's, there's no peace in Zimbabwe. The, the, the elections are, 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 are most violent. So, given the situation whereby uh, the elections held are, are, are violent, it means that uh, the, the country is, is not a republic. So, we can say uh, one can question, given the, the, the situation whereby uh, the elections are sometimes not peaceful, uh, being evidenced by fights and clashes on rallies, it, 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 it means that uh, the elections are not peaceful. The elections are, they, they are settled with a lot of violence. So, it means that one, one can question, one can question the, the, the being a republic uh, of is the republic region of Zimbabwe is questioned by one, uh, considering the fact that uh, the elections are sometimes violent. Moving on, criticizing uh, the republic nature of Zimbabwe in the Zimbabwe government uh, by Mnangawa. We can also, uh, one can also argue that on the issue of uh, unfair distribution of uh, resources in Zimbabwe, there is unfair distribution of resources. Though Zimbabwe, is, uh, the Zimbabwe government, Adam Nagaba, is trying to cater for all people, is trying to, to cover, the government is trying to represent every citizen, you know. But, however, sometimes we have some policies which are implemented by the president, which do, which do not cater for, for, every, for everyone. They, they select a, a, such a group, you know, we have got uh, the, the command agriculture. It, 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 in most cases, uh, uh, advantages give, gives advantage to the, to the the privilege, those are the ones who are, are benefiting, you know. Uh, for, for one uh, to obtain uh, a loan uh, under command agriculture, you should have some assets with the, with, with, which should aid its collateral security. So it means sometimes the government is failing to, to, to meet the requirements for the people since everyone needs uh, those, uh, those loans. So it, it means uh, agriculture productivity is going to be successful for those people who, are, who have got money already, who have got. Uh, We've got funds already. This, this shows that uh, 
the, the, the public nature of Zimbabwe is, is, is quiescent. Since sometimes, you know, there's no there's no face distribution of uh, resources. There's no face distribution of uh, goods, social welfare goods. So it shows that uh, Zimbabwe uh, sometimes is uh, uh, yes, we can say it's a republic, but uh, its republic nature is, is quiescent. <coughs> we move from there. Uh, uh, we go into the. Uh, Government of Zimbabwe being contradicted also uh, by uh, introducing uh, the principles. This is whereby the new uh, published reviews, the news, the news that are published, are censored and are edited before they before they are published. You know, ZBC and uh, other uh, other radio stations are, 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 are non government organizations, but they they, they 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 are now working under the government. This was that uh, the, the censorship of news. It, there is now censorship of news, which is not good. The, the, the news that are, are there should be published, despite uh, that they are against the government, despite that they are telling good things about the government, despite that they are telling uh, bad things about the opposition. Everything that happens in the country should be published. But however, we find that uh, there is a weakness in the government of Nagaba, whereby uh, there is a uh, there is a lot, there is a lot and a lot of uh, there is a lot of uh, press censorship uh, in the news. Bring things to a close. The Republic is a country governed by the president and the members of the parliament. The government of Mnangagwa is a republic to a larger degree. There is fair distribution of resources. The members of the parliament and the president is also elected by the citizens. The rights of the citizens are protected by the constitution. However, the government of Mnangagwa is criticized and is said not to be a republic because there is violence during the elections which